Hello everybody, Dejenes Dungeon here, and I have a very sad story to tell. When I was just a child, a little eight-year-old, I rented a game from my local library. And using context clues from the title of this video, you can tell that game was Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. I then brought the game home and played it, and it was just magical. I loved everything about it for reasons I'm going to cover in a later review. And after playing the Mario and Luigi games on the DS and Game Boy Advance, I loved the game even more. And as a package, I just grew to love RPGs and Mario games more from the experiences. I loved the game, and for the next two years, it was my best priority, or top priority, to find a copy of the game I could own. I gave up after a while until I found it last year, but that game drove me to buy Super Paper Mario, when in my opinion, is the second best game I've ever played. Everything about the game I loved, but because I want to review the game later, I'll leave it at that. And then two years ago, I played the original, and it was also fantastic. This is my history with Paper Mario. And I bet a few of you noticed something. I didn't mention Paper Mario Sticker Star, because Paper Mario Sticker Star is not a Paper Mario game. Heck, it's not even a game. It's like the Sony film, Hotel Transylvania. It's a hyperactive, terrible insult to the medium, let alone the people making it and the company known for making it. I bought the game on release date because of the marketing, making it look like it was a decent Paper Mario game. I then blasted through it in 25 hours or so, and then 100% to the game in an extra 5 hours, and never played it again. It was so bland and boring, so easy that I 100%ed it at age of 9 in a very short amount of time. It was so easy to the point that it isn't a game. It's a pay to win game with no microtransactions, with the added bonus of confusing game choices in a very uncreative set of worlds that have unique puzzle solving. Ooh, spoopy. Then four years later, they added Paper Mario to Mario, a Mario and Luigi game in a crossover. And he, Paper Mario did what Paper Mario does and infected the Mario and Luigi series all this genericness and terrible enemies and terrible stuff that's been going on in the Paper Mario games as of late. Then, two years later, they announced the very much anticipated Paper Mario Wii U. And the reception was really bad. If I was to describe it in one singular sentence, I think I would say there were Lots and 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 lots of toads. It had the same problems as Paper Mario Sticker Star, and do I even need to say more? Paper Mario Color Splash does not have a satisfying genre or gameplay. It's a disgusting husk of its former self with bright colors and gimmicks painted on. So instead of finding another train wreck of a game, I'm never going to buy another Paper Mario game made pre-2008 ever again. Unless it's an HD remake of the first three games, then I'd buy 100,000 copies of the game. Thank you guys for watching. This really means a lot to me. I, I love Paper Mario. Like, I grew up with it. It's my like, second or third favorite franchise. And Nintendo really likes killing my favorite franchise. And I'm running out of them. Franchise for Nintendo. So, yeah. It's not fun. I wonder. Why? Toads.